Among the corporations that are stepping up is premium beverage producer Diageo. Joining us with more on Diageo's efforts in Haiti is the company's CEO and president of North America, Ivan Manassas. It's nice to have you here, Ivan. Good it's a pleasure. Be Before we, we talk about the efforts that Diageo is putting forth in Haiti, you also have a small brewery there and you have a number of employees there. Have you been able to learn their status? What have you been able to learn about those operations and the people? Sure. We have a partnership with the local brewery uh, in Haiti and uh, we have a, about 1300 employees there. The brewery has been impacted, it's not operational, but today our employees are back and we're, we're rebuilding and we expect with our partners to be up and running soon. And you're, on, you're unique on the corporate front. There are very few others, if any, who are not only donating money and supplies, but also employees on the ground in Haiti. What have you been able to do and what have they been able to tell you about the situation there? Well, since the disaster struck, uh, our employees have mobilized very quickly. Uh, we have uh, six executives on the ground in Haiti. Uh, we, got, we were one of the first to bring food and medical supplies to the island. We got there on Friday. Uh, our employees are on the ground as we speak. And I have to say, Sue, the stories uh, I hear back are, 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 are most touching. And, and heartwarming in terms of really representing the indomitable human spirit uh, okay. at work. Ivan, forgive me for one moment. We're going to continue with this in a moment, but we have some breaking news from Tyler Matheson uh, that we are going to go to. Ty, over to you. Uh, let's resume our, our conversation now with uh, Ivan of Diageo. Ivan, um, this is not your first experience as a company, as a corporation, in helping in natural disasters. I would assume that that would, that would have given you a template, if you will, of how to proceed, even though a, a disaster of this magnitude is unfathomable. Sure, and I think going back from 9-11 over the past decade, Sue, we've been involved in, be it the hurricanes, be it going into Baghdad, into Afghanistan, the earthquakes, the tsunamis. Uh, one of the things about the RGO is we, we believe in giving back to the community. But what makes our disaster relief approach unique is we mobilize very quickly. We take what's important. In this case, in Haiti, we have about 50,000 uh, pounds of food and medicine that we got there very quickly. Mm -hmm. We're deploying it to the hospitals and an orphanage uh, and our people on the ground actually take the relief to where it's most needed quickly. And, and that's been our experience. I think what we've learned also is working with the right partners. We yes. work with the Bridge Foundation, for example, who are an NGO that's really expert in the area of disaster relief. And we've established strong relationships with these partners. Is there a, is there a way for this country to rebuild after this disaster and, and reorganize? It has had so many years of, of either corruption, certainly poverty. Um, could Haiti be rebuilt with the help of corporations like Diageo and so many others to be to be profitable, to be economically viable on its own, do you think, after this disaster? Well, Sue, I, I would hope all of us see this as the opportunity as we get through this, this terrible phase. Uh, companies like Diageo, we have programs like the Skills for Life program where we actually invest in raising entrepreneurs, training skills to start jobs in the hospitality industry. I think the rebuilding is where we will soon need to turn our attention to, mm -hmm. uh, to get Haiti back into a stronger place. Well, thank you for your efforts, and it's been a pleasure to have you with us here on The Closing Bell. Thank you very much. And for more on the crisis in Haiti and how much companies are donating to the relief efforts and the other things that they are doing, you can go to our website at CNBC.com.